Hey guys and welcome back to Sky Shines Bedlam. So in the last episode we wiped, actually. Totally wiped. Which was not good. We wiped on Abe. And has this game got louder or is it just me? Feels like it's got louder. As the crew sends a rocky incline, they come across a curious mess. It appears to be a large pile of moist meat and bone. Also seems to be pieces of marauder armor and weaponry mixed in with the sickening mound of wet flesh. While the crew's attempt to establish the origin of the strange flesh heap, a fizzling sound suddenly fills the air. Seemingly out of nowhere, another mass of flesh and bone appears and plops in a pile, spattering blood everywhere. So we explore. Heading further up the incline, the crew eventually hears several marauders shouting and laughing, followed occasionally by the same fizzling noise sound. Uh, uh, the, f ah, the same fizzling noise heard earlier. Approaching cautiously, they can see the marauders each individually standing onto some kind of metal platform on the ground. After each of them stomp on the surface for a moment, the fizzle resonates again, and the bodies transform into a quivering jumble of meat before blinking out of existence. The others laugh riotously. As the crew draws near, the final marauder disappears from the platform. From what the crew can determine, this was some kind of tactical displacer platform that was used long ago, likely to teleport combat automatons into battle during the AI wars long ago. Although somehow still functional, it was clearly not designed to transport organic material, hence the hideous meat mound encountered earlier. However, it is possible that those technicians could research and reconfigure this device for humans turning it into a battle, a battle equalizer that could g give the crew an advantage in battle. Do you want the dozer technicians to modify and install teleportation technology? Of course I fucking do. The body displays that has been installed as a battle equalizer on your dozer. Great! I need to get some fights on the go. As the crew is exploring a region of dusty flatlands, they came across a vast expanse what looks like a crumbling temple at the far end. The field leading up to the temple is filled with large clusters of corroded metal covered with soot, the remnants of ancient vehicles. Upon arrival at the structure, the crew realises it's actually not a temple but the ash-covered remains of what was once a war mall. Try and find a way inside. The crew finds a crevice in a damaged wall. Uh, it's the Valentino Tactical Outfitters this time. Crew steps through the shattered storefront window. Lars have been stripped of anything useful, they're about to leave empty handed when one of the crew bumps into something, even though there seems to be nothing there. It's a stealth suit. Yes, install the stealth suit technology. We've had that one before. As the crew explores an area of derelict buildings, they hear the sounds of battle taking place on a nearby rooftop. When the crew arrives on the roof they, to investigate, they discover a clutch of marauders engaged in a heated battle with a group of cyborgs. You got some rocks getting between everlasting discord with this bunch of scuzzers. Gonna smithereen you right along with them. Alrighty. Let's grab revolver. Uh, we'll need dens. Let's grab all of them. No! Ah, so Blitz only give them three actions now, okay. That's slightly different. So everyone's trying to kill everyone else, am I, am I right here? Uh, then it's going to move you up to here. Revolve that over a bit. Okay, let's move Volva back a tad and you to about here. Alright, that means I can just come here and just punch him in the face. Right, shoot me. And Revolver's dead. Nice! Exactly what I was after. Okay, so if I stand here, shotgun that guy. Ah! Should have watched that. I have a feeling that this guy's going to die next time. No. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, that was nice.
Two dead. What have you got? You got two health, so Geiger can come here and shoot you. Level up. Choke on him, but we'll murderize you later, scuzzers. Alright, let's have a little read of Geiger, the veteran. As close combat weapon specialist in the crew, the shotgun wielding trenchers love a whopping firepower when the enemy is near, but much less effective at a distance. As part of the Now Beam Network staff security, a troop was troop was assigned to Project Jericho. I wonder why he's called Geiger then. Uh, to Project to protect Jericho thrice, a headline anchor acting as embedded journalist on the dozer. Formerly one of Byzantine's prime reporters, Thrice was uh, disgraced after an embarrassing public incident involving a dozen skin sims, and he's desperately and he's desperate to reclaim glory by chronicling the journey. Troop actually finds his charge unbearably egotistical, but that impression is never betrayed by his placid demeanor or sense of duty. His personal bodyguard experience should benefit the dozer during hostile encounters. Uh, who's Jericho? Th Thrice is he dead already? I think Thrice is dead already, so you didn't do very well. Unfortunately. Let's head out this way and hope that we can go this way. Oh, bit of graphical glitch there. Up ahead near the road there appears to be some kind of large metallic construction. As the doors are draws closer, the wreckage looks like the mangled remains of some type of satellite. Uh and we get a weapon. Yep, the electric guillotine. Nice. Still have points to spend, I didn't realise I had power cells. Let's go explore. The crew discovers an immense machine, some type of abandoned derrick that was obviously once used to pump precious crude from deep within the ground. They managed to get it going and we get some crude. Uh, oh, as the crew explores an area of scrap and rubble, they discover a makeshift shelter of metal and concrete. A small trickle of blue liquid drips from under the door. No sounds can be heard from within. Weapons at the ready, the crew enters the structure. Inside, they find what's left of a cyborg amid a splatter of flesh, activators, and blue hydraulic plasma. On the other side of the shelter is the remains of what appeared to be one of the bod mod surgeons who performed biomechanic, bio machinery procedures on bedlam denizens. This is clearly the scene of an augmentation operation gone horribly awry. The crew searches the surgeon's equipment and discovers a rack of charged fusion batteries that were likely intended to power a cyborg's new modifications. Crew returns with the power cells. No power cells, not gonna. Not gonna say no. If we can bump up the the healing, we should be good. Uh, just going to uh, abandon it. We get more crude. While exploring a formerly populated area, the crew comes across a group of vehicles. Judging by the equipment and logos of the Miskatronic Omnidimensional Research Firm. They must belong to corporate scientists from Byzantine doing or Byzantine doing research in Bedlam. Moments later, panicked scientists rush from one of the nearby buildings and desperately call your attention. Oi travellers, we may beg your assistance. Our colleagues were collecting important data on the roof of this structure when they were accosted by a rather combative clan of cybernetically, uh, cybernetically enhanced natives. Something, something, something. The crew climbs to the roof of the nearby building and finds a group of cyborgs preparing an assault on the scientists. You poor off your purple your bar. You pure fleshers want to get in the way of our fair acquisition? Guess we'll indulge ourselves in some extra carnage. Alright, so Geiger's actually been healed and... Just saying, you're gonna to need to fill, up, fill the gap, mate, because our snipers have been less than adequate lately. I'm going to put you... You can go... Ah yes, you can go here. And you can go here. Walk, walk, walk. Venture, dead eye. Hmm. You can move there. There you get six points of attack. Four, five, six. Yeah, so I can, as long as I don't move into that position, I should be fine. Okay. Bonk. 
So he's a trencher. Can't actually hit him though. Okay, go you around to here. Can I hit him? Nope. I, I can move back and shoot him. Off. There we go. You're gonna move as well. And Trencher Man. The greatest hero of them all. I'm gonna go here and I've got my sniper. See? Gisarium! Fucking badass! Right. Next. When the cyborgs are defeated, the scientists emerge from cover and approach the crew. Endless grats to you travellers or demise seemed assured until your intervention. It allows us to compensate your effort. It appears our equipment was damaged by these quarrelsome individuals. We have ample supply of power cells to share and as a sign of appreciation. Yes, come aboard! Time to get off our better allegiance lies in the mysteries of this region. We do appreciate the rescue. Best journey to you. Alright, we left them, but they gave us 18 power cells, so can't complain at that. Pump that up, and... Hmm. I don't know, I feel like I'm best off just saving my power cells for use, as opposed to... Upgrading anymore. Ahead in the road, a group of mutant nomads can be seen travelling on foot. The dozer slows to a halt and you disembark. The nomad leader approaches, gazing at the dozer in awe. Uh, no, I'm not inviting them because we just end up losing people and getting nothing extra. Okay, we're gonna go and fight a character. King Viscera sent Biff Trumbo to splatter your soft little fleshes with my row cannon. Gonna be messy. Alright, we'll just take Gisarium, Geiger, and Hunter and Dens again. Same people with red Gisariums. So we don't need to read it again. Dying. It's not the... No, if I stand there, I can get shot by both of them. Twice. I don't want to do that. Run you here. Then run you... Maybe not run you anywhere. Run you here. Okay, good night. Boom. Now I could take him out. Um. See, if I run up here and shoot him, he needs to move before he shoots me, but he can do 7 damage. I don't really want to fuck with him. Some sort of sharpshooter or something? I don't, I don't know. I can't use any of that. Eh, I could probably use some of this stuff, but... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna because I don't have any... I don't have enough power cells for it. I'll run you back. You in, oh, you're not in range to shoot anyone, so you still need to move. I can take you out. Whoa! That fucking killed him straight up. Great. Hey, can you... You shoot him. Oh my god. So you really need to shoot him. Because Gisarium's gonna need to take Biv out. Right, Gisarium. <laughs> You're probably gonna get taken out by Gunslinger. Oh no. Apparently not.
Frontline just didn't even get touched. Well, at least we got Bev Trumbo. Or Trump Trumbo, Trundo, tr tr yeah, this guy, Bev. Alright, I give you got the best of all, Bev Trumbo. I'll ride with you, maybe it's best chance of wiping that boss and drag a King Visser off the map. So that's good, we lost two but got Bev, and he's a gunslinger anyway, and we, we lost a good trencher but we got a good gunslinger for it. So, eh, can't really complain at that. As the crew explores the area, they come over a rise and find themselves in a clearing face to face with a tribe of mutant warriors. The mutants stop in their tracks, staring the crew down as if determining whether they're a present threat. A moment later, they shout a mutant battle cry and rush forward to attack. You must be in the wrong place at the right time, boys, to be shredding ya. Right, looks like we're taking Bev, we're not taking Jez, we're taking Denz again. Crofter, you're next, and Kristog. Yeah, we must sniper for this one. Resource pick are very valuable. Get them. Yes, they are very valuable, but... At the same time... You don't want to... Waste valuable movements. Try to get resource pickups now, do you? I'm gonna go for it. Power. Nice. Damn. Uh. Right, you're gonna move there. Then I can ace that guy and no longer be getting, uh, no longer risking the blitzometer. The blitzometer. There you go. Yeah, she's in cover. And blah. I am. Holy fuck, I did not realise that he had 9 health! Are you fucking for real game? Jesus Christ. There we go, he's dead now. Uh, yeah, you can't shoot me if I'm touching your feet. Uh, I see, I sure it's just like it's like two moves, and then that's them. Okay, now you're fucked. No, I'm not, because I shotgun him, then he gets two shots on me. Or a single shot on me. So I want to shotgun him from a position where I'm... Yeah, exactly. Fucking hell. What a nightmare. I got 30 power cells though, yay. We lost Bev. We got we got Bev. We had a hard fight. Got Bev and then lost him. As the crew explores the area, their attention is drawn by the thundering sound of weapon fire. Over a nearby hill, they discover mutant farmers raising groats, small plump creatures used for meat. Female mutant is using a weapon to blast the troglopods, skittering bedlam vermin that have infiltrated the area. In between salvos, the mutant scratches furiously at strands of coarse hair on her head. Approach them. Oi, Romers, this groat farmers be given scrittened a meat supply and haggle for splattering a Foglepods. But Scritton really be needing something to brush out the crag fleas, itchy pests. Invite her to join the dozer. Ooh, that'd be sounding for the crag fleas infesting Scritton's head. That'd be solution, rather. 
You must be having Scritton Boomer at your side in exchange for the traveling your beast. Scritton is joined the Dozer crew. Awesome. But that's going to have to do us for this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. And I've been you've been awesome. See you next time. Bye bye.